This video shows how to use a lift curve to convert pressure data from a gauge depth to a different datum level. For instance, the top of the perforations. The following applies to both sapphire and topaz. Here we have a sapphire file where we see that in addition to the pressure, we have two rate channels, oil and water. If we go to the analysis section, we have an interpretation which has been done using the oil rate and pressures at gauge depth. We want to convert these pressures to those at the top of the perforations. First, we will create a new analysis by copying the existing one. Next step is to check the PVT model. We must have PVT defined to set up a well intake model. In this example, we change the PVT to multi-phase and define it by dead oil and water. Click OK and regenerate the model. Next, we go to the Additional Tools tab at the top and select Well Intake. We have three ways to define the left curve. Load from Amethyst, Load Lift Curves in Eclipse Format, or use built-in flow correlations. We will use the last option. By default, the well geometry is vertical with constant ID and roughness. However, these may be redefined varying with depth. In this example, we load a deviation survey from a file. Tick the box next to deviation and click the drop down arrow. Then select Load Data. Select the deviation file, define the file format, and load. Next, we enter the tubing ID, leaving other parameters with their default values. Finally, in the pressure drop model, we select the liquid liquid ABV deviated correlation and close the window by clicking OK. Next, we go to Edit QAQC and toggle to QAQC. Click on the Now Active Convert to Bottom Hole icon. We select the well intake model, which we intend to use in the drop down list, and enter the gauge and datum depths. The water rate may be defined using water cut or the existing water production gauge. In this example, we use the latter. Click OK and a new gauge is created. We can see that the pressures have shifted by about 900 psi. We go back to the analysis and select the newly created pressure gauge for extraction and use Auto Improve. We can compare the two matches and see that the parameters are the same except for the skin and the initial reservoir pressure.